Hello and welcome to a different type of video today. Um, I will be simply testing out a lot of pens. A lot of pens that begin to uh, belong to my two children. I'm going to test them out and put them in two different piles, obviously. Keepers and chuckers. Let's begin. I think that one's going to go. Hmm. A bit unsure about that one. I'll keep that one. a goner. Fast decision that one. And another one as well. It would be nice to um, Get rid of a lot of these because they take up a lot of space. Uh, well, half of that pen I think is a keeper, the other half is not. going. I also think that I'm um, going to place this very attractive looking mat underneath, just in case anything goes through the surface. Now a lot of these pens are very old and date back, um, well I suppose back to when my son was born in 2013. They've been used a lot since. Now and again, I have to go through them. To see which ones are worth keeping. And I think this will only take about 16 hours for me to do, to go through these. It's a definite keeper.
might take a few videos. <laughs> some kind of um, one of these sort of uh, magic-y pens I'm not sure exactly what it does but I better keep it um, just in case often uh, when you th when I throw away something um, even if it's something that uh, my kids haven't played with for a long time they suddenly notice when you've thrown it away That's a bad one. Hopefully this end is bad as well. Yes, it is good. Yeah, they notice straight away and then it's the most important thing to them, the thing you've thrown away. So what I often do is whatever it might be, if I don't think they want it anymore or if I think it's broken or if I just think it's not very good if I think it's rubbish uh, whatever it is I will put it into a sort of like a a holding area and if they make a big fuss about not having it anymore if they suddenly notice it's missing then I might I can still I'm in a position where I can still give it back to them if they don't say anything then I continue with chucking it away. It's normally in the holding area for about two weeks. They don't know where that area is. They don't even know that I have one. I'm not sure. Um, not sure how this one got in there because this is a pencil. But, um, that's a definite keeper, isn't it? Anyway, even if it was a pen, obviously a definite keeper. if you can put refills in that but I'll keep it anyway As you can see, the um, the subject matter of my handwriting is very very Star Wars themed. Sometimes I I get crazy and go over the top and and write the Star Wars, which was the original, going to be the original title for a lot of the drafts, a lot of the early drafts of Star Wars. The Star Wars was the title. At the last minute, they dropped the, 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 they dropped the, the. Oh dear, look, the R is touching the S. Yeah. Bit of a disaster there. on the way out. And that 
that one has completely gone. So far I've only throw, managed to throw away seven pins. I'm a bit disappointed with that, that score. Let's uh, fill in the gaps here a little bit, shall we? satisfying click. Hmm, still no satisfying click. Well, I didn't leave a finger space gap there. So I'm always telling my kids to do when they write when they write anything. I think I can class this video as a Star Wars video, really. Okay. Too many OK pens. Well, I'm not sure how one of mine made it in here. How did that? They must have taken it out of my my desk. I'll test it anyway. Just taking a while to get going. No, I think that's uh, I think that's a goner. Sometimes you just have to give them a chance, don't you? But uh, I'm not giving that one a chance. but there's hardly any ink I can see there's hardly any ink left in it that's a really good pen I wish I had a pen like that but there's hardly any ink left as you can see but um, out of respect for what type of pen it is I might uh, let it survive until the next cull satisfying one that doesn't work there. And again. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I've got these big chunky ones here now. I don't like big chunky ones simply because they take up loads of space. It's definitely gone. Oh, that's one of those magic ones again, isn't it? I think I don't know what to do with those magic ones. I 
normally these sort of things that are classed as magic in some way very rarely are they tend to just be rubbish through all of these pens. that a second try. I think I'm going to say no. It's amazing what, what power I have here over life and death with these pens. Let's finish off these. Racing car one that yeah, still works. I don't think they use it very often, apart from to draw on rather than draw with. But I will keep it. Another one of mine slipped in here. Okay, so I'll do a few more, and then I think I'll uh, call it a day. Let's finish off with uh, some of these, shall we? These are all coming up good so far. Like that. Now, 
Maybe. Maybe I can still do some more. Fill this gap down here. It's a bit urgent, that nib, isn't it? Don't know why it's sticking out like that. Too many good pens. Just try. Just a few more. It's gone. Okay. Let's go up here. Barely got through two letters there. What's this? It's only one letter. Yep. Not so bad. Obviously, these pens are all the same age. Oh, look at that. This one. Nothing wrong with that one. Although there's not much ink left in there, I can see. So there's quite a lot of pens tested so far. Most of them keepers, unfortunately. Anyway. I think I'll leave it at that for now. Might come back and do another one with the rest of the pens. I'm not sure. Possibly. I love throwing things away. <laughs> so uh, I should do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. And goodbye for now.